Welcome to F1 2021, where today, yes, we got our hands on the brand new F1 2021 game a little bit early, courtesy of our friends over at Codemasters, so we could make some videos here for you guys. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the five different career modes. Yes, there are five different career modes in F1 2021. And then we'll jump into some of the other really, really cool features about F1 2021. For example, the new damage model. So sit back and relax. This is going to be a cool one. But real quick, before we do jump into this, two quick things. One, as I do have F1 2021 a little bit early, let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see next. We will be starting up our F1 2021 career mode fairly soon, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. And number two, as you can tell, F1 2021 the game is still a work in progress. This game only comes out next month, so the developers are still hard at work behind the scenes getting it ready for you guys. So throughout today's video, you might spot a couple of glitches. For example, I drove with five wheels at one point. Ignore that. Those are glitches, they will get fixed before the game officially comes out. And last but not least, the gameplay that you're going to be seeing on screen is basically just generic gameplay of my first time jumping into F1 2021 as I'm experimenting with the new physics, the new tires, the gameplay, the AI, and so on. So you'll see me start off fairly slow and get faster and faster as we get further on into the video. Without further ado though, let's jump into these five ways that you can play an F1 2021 career mode. And let's start it off with the biggest one, the brand new feature, F1 Breaking Point. Breaking Point is unlike anything we've had in previous F1 games. You are not creating your own character. You are not creating your own team. In this mode, you follow along the story of an upcoming F2 driver named Aiden Jackson who's trying to earn their spot in Formula 1. If you're a fan of Netflix Drive to Survive, this is essentially Drive to Survive, but in the Formula 1 games. This is a scripted story mode where you have characters, relationships, choices that you have to make, and so on that will affect the story of Aiden Jackson. I'm not going to spoil any of the details for what goes on within this career mode, but this is how the story works. You are Aiden Jackson. You start in 2019 in Formula 2, where you're trying to earn your spot in Formula 1. After that season, you'll get offered a bunch of different contracts from a bunch of different Formula 1 teams based on how you do. And for example, if you choose to sign with either Renault or Racing Point, well, after your Formula One season, you'll jump over to 2021, where those teams will become Aston Martin and Alpine, respectively. I seriously cannot wait to try out this game mode for myself. It sounds really, really cool. The developers have actually already come out and said that it takes anywhere between five to six hours to complete the entire thing. So if you come at it from a casual perspective, that's really, really cool. I don't know exactly how it's gonna work just yet, but all I know is it sounds really, really cool. I can't wait to try it out. Anyways though, I think that's enough of F1 2021 breaking point career mode. Let's jump it over to the standard career mode. You know and love is back for F1 2021. You go in, you create your driver and so on, you sign with a team, upgrade that team in the hopes of being the world champion. So your standard career mode is back, however, also returning for F1 2021 is a two-player career mode where you can go and play with one of your friends and this works two different ways again. Obviously, you both go and create your own drivers and so on, However, you guys can either sign for the same team and work together and upgrade your car together and stuff like that, or you can go in and sign for rival teams and compete against each other. It sounds super, super cool. I am so happy we've got a two-player career mode finally back for F1 2021. After that, though, we come to another new way to play the career mode. Again, you're not making a character, you're not making a team, you are choosing a real-life driver 
to be in the real season start career mode. In the real season start, essentially you're gonna have all of the real life Grand Prix presented to you on the screen with the results that have actually happened in real life up until that point. So say for example, you started up a real season start right now after the Monaco Grand Prix. You can obviously choose any driver to be in the career mode. Let's say you go and choose Lewis Hamilton, who's just lost the championship lead to Max Verstappen. Over the next couple of races till the end of the season, can you fight Max Verstappen back and win the championship? For an 8th title, that's up to you and your driving skills. And obviously, as the real life F1 season goes on, they're going to be updating it in the game so you can choose any race to start your real season start and see if you can change the results from real life. For example, do you think you could still win the world championship with Lando Norris, Charles Leclerc, somebody like that? I don't know. You find out. And then last but not least, we come to my personal favorite, the F1 2021 My Team Career. Again, yes, you can come and create your own team in the game and manage it, sign a second driver, and so on. That is back in F1 2021. And as you'd expect, there are some brand new changes in this game mode. For example, department events. You know how in the old game, you just kind of upgraded the departments with money and that was it? They just worked all fine and dandy? Well, in this game, there will be department events and you'll have to manage when issues arise. Also, another really cool thing, you know how there's icon drivers in F1 2021? For example, Michael Schumacher, Senna, Rosberg, Jensen Button, and so on. Well, those drivers you can also sign in the My Team career mode, which is insane. I unfortunately don't know how this works if they ask for just stupid amounts of money or if it's an option you can turn on or off. I would imagine these drivers are going to be pretty OP, so I would hope they're an option, but regardless, still really cool that you can sign those guys. So there you go. Those are the five career modes for F1 2021. Super, super cool. However, there are some things that impact all of those career modes. For example, the R&D tree is gone. New for F1 2021 is this upgrade menu, which honestly, after digging around it for a little while, feels like an upgrade tree, just kind of more disorganized. I'm, I'm not really sure, we'll have to see. I only played for so much, we only had a couple of races. You're also gonna have new ways to get discounts on those upgrades because the practice mode has been completely redone. No longer are you gonna need to sit there and do like the track acclimatization or whatever it was and hit all of those checkpoints for like the hundredth time in a row. Now you have three things, three tasks that you need to do. And depending on how well you do, you'll get 100 or 200 resource points, so max 600. And then you have three sub-objectives that you can do. And those will give you discounts on upgrades, which is super cool. However, in previous F1 games, a lot of people complain that they were just getting resource points way too quickly. Well, in this game, there is an expert mode, which literally allows you to change everything behind the scenes. For example, you can choose how much money you're getting per race versus to the AI. Say, for example, you're getting way too many resource points per race and you're upgrading your car way too fast and you're just destroying the AI. You can actually make it more difficult for yourself and give you less resource points per race so you have less upgrades to do while leaving the AI with the same or even giving them more resource points so they can upgrade even faster. Anyways though, last but not least, probably the biggest thing of them all, there is a brand new damage model for F1 2021, where no longer is it just limited to the front wing, you can now damage your floor, your sideboards, even your rear wing is damageable. I actually crashed into Lando Norris and nearly snapped his rear wing in half, super cool. Also, when you pop your tires in this year's F1 game, you're gonna get like that tire shredding that you get in real life. I actually tried to do this myself, but I ran into a little bit of a glitch where it spawned five wheels on the car, but you can kind of get an idea of what it'll look like. Like I said, a glitch that'll get fixed when the game comes out, obviously. So there you go. That is everything that you need to know about the brand new F1 2021 career mode. Obviously, the physics have been updated. These cars have so much less downforce 
then in 2020, the new tires don't have nearly as much grip. The AI is much improved. They still need a little bit of balancing, but obviously that will change. Standing where we are right now, this game is looking super, super good. I cannot wait to try out more of it. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see. Subscribe for our career mode soon. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!